Hey, YouTube, it's Tony with Dollar Made Holsters. I wanted to address something that's brought up to my attention by some guys that are having issues with some of their split molds, wallet molds, mag molds, etc. I didn't know this was happening, but some of the wallet molds that are being sold now, they do not come with holes, and you need to go in and actually drill your own holes. And you kind of see this one, okay? This one already has holes in it. Same with the uh, mag mold. If you buy a DIY moth mold, it actually comes with markings, but you have to come in and drill your own holes. Okay, kind of see that. And um, on the wallet mold, if you have a former like this one, yes, you can do wallets, you can do mag. What I do is first, you need to have something underneath your mold because you want the air to be sucked down to get you the definition you're looking for. So what I do is actually put this here. If I don't use my little $100 vacuum jig, I'm gonna use this one. This is what I do. I go ahead and set it up. You got your little tampon rope. Okay, so it goes right here. I use pieces of Scotch Brite or whatever. I kind of get it right up here, set this. You know, not too close, but what what happens is when you set your hot kydex, you want the air to head out and follow this path. So that's what I do on this farmer. On the other one, you just set this above your single hole, and it's going to suck down and give you the definition you're looking for. Okay, now with that being said, what size? On the DIY moth, they're telling you 1 16th, and... I actually, on this wallet jig, I did the uh, 1 8 on it, and I believe this one has the 764. So anything smaller than an eighth is gonna be fine. You could probably even get away with the 964, and that's it. Don't go massive and get these big holes because what's gonna happen is when you vacuum form it, it's gonna leave marks on your kydex from the size of the hole that you actually drilled so you know don't get your mold and pull out the god dang three eighths and drill some holes in it so stick with the smaller ones and like i said uh 116 for the diy uh i believe this one has the uh, 964 and uh this one has the uh 330 two on it so you know, like I said so but anyway uh, and definitely like I said something underneath I don't care what former what you use uh, if you want to use a scotch bright pad you can if you want to use the shelf line I love this shelf line and it works uh, perfect for this I mean guys have used uh, rain gutter screen uh, this one is what I had so that's what I use and it does a great job anyway guys that's all I got Good luck with your projects. Don't hate on the BLT. Don't burn yourself. Peace.